I don't know why, but when this movie came out in theaters a couple of months ago, I thought it got good reviews and now when it was available to stream on Netflix from today, I thought yeah, it will be a good time to watch it. But no, <laughs> I was wrong. There are a lot of flaws in this movie, right from the story itself and the way it was presented to us and then some of the decisions that those characters were making <laughs> just didn't work for me. Anyways, let's look at the story first. Well, the story is quite straightforward. There is a group of friends, some university friends, about six of them, I think. And there is a birthday of one of those goals. So they rent a villa. They plan to party over there. But then they find a box of tarot cards. And one of the girls from that group really knows how to read them. And then she goes on to read everyone's horoscope who was present there but then what everyone starts to die one by one i would frankly tell you if you just pay attention a bit at the start only a bit i'm not even telling you to just pay attention a lot if you just pay attention a bit you will actually figure out at least the trajectory of that movie and yeah that is just what happens but there was one thing that the movie did well though that was the final 20 odd minutes of the movie and also i would say after the first couple of deaths whatever the way in which people get killed or people are murdered by that ghost or ghosts i would say now that was pretty good because the ghost was able to shape shift into different personas or different looking people or different looking things i won't say exactly what it was but the way it was shown the way the ghost transformed into different beings now that was fun to watch because that was done pretty well i won't say it was scary and i think i might be biased on that as well because for me i just don't get scared by horror movies i don't know why but i just don't get scared but having said that i don't think that it was that scary anyways but yeah it was done well and it was executed well and yeah the last 20 minutes of the movie were good i would say that but other than that the way that some of the characters were taking actions i mean it's just there. All the other characters are just screaming out loud, just don't do that. And that character still goes on to do that. Yeah, they tried to give a bit of backing to that character, like why he was taking those decisions. But even if we leave him alone, even the other characters, no, that just didn't make sense. And it was just making the story a bit more elongated. But now it's time to talk about the length of the movie. The length of the movie is just mere 1 hour and 30 minutes, 1 and a half hours. Now I really feel, I really strongly feel if this movie had 20 odd minutes more or at least 15 odd minutes more then that time could have been given to just feel some remorse to the characters because they are friends and some of their friends were actually getting killed by this ghost. Okay, there is a bit of remorse given after the first death, but after the second death, one of the characters is just joking. He's just joking. There's no remorse. There's, there's not just one scene in which they are just all together and just thinking about, okay, this is getting serious. I mean, they are just not mourning enough. I just felt that and that's why the death didn't really hit you. You just know that, okay, this is one, this is two, this is next, this is next. And that just flies by. And yeah, the length of the movie, one or 30 minutes, really doesn't give enough time for some of the scenes to just settle down to just breathe and just you know feel emotional about and also there was one thing in this movie there was one decision or that was a plot point i just couldn't make sense of it because in the normal world that just wouldn't happen i mean you'll just get it when you watch the movie it wasn't supposed to happen i may be completely wrong in this one maybe but yeah i felt that way but having said all of this i think if you're not looking for a very hardcore horror movie then i think this movie could be a cup of tea and the length of the movie being short could actually play good for you because the story just moves forward it just hits one two three four just different points and it just moves forward it just doesn't get stuck in one place and i think for me that didn't work but maybe if you're someone who's not looking for a very gritty horror movie as i said it can be a cup of tea and and yeah, the last 20 minutes are actually good. But anyways, these are all my thoughts on the movie Tarot. If you have already seen this movie, please go down in the comment section and please share your thoughts as well because I would really love to see what you guys think of this movie. And of course, you can check out some other videos on my channel as well. And as always, thank you so much for watching.